We live in an artificial world. We got artificial food, men, women, and friends. Artificial everywhere. A lot of you, not all, need to get a life. With all this fake shit going on, this couldn't be a better time to figure out who fucking with you. You ever had somebody get mad at you because you didn't tell them happy birthday? Or you didn't show up to their event so they are mad? I can see if it's a close family member, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or kids. But to all you extended motherfuckers? Extended motherfuckers? Extended motherfuckers like uncle, cousin, co-workers, and friends and all that? What you mad for? And what's so funny is there's really people out here that'll stop fucking with you just because you ain't celebrate their birthday, I hit them up. I've actually had people unfollow me on social media over the pettiness. Well, if that's what it is, then how about you stay on your side and motherfucker, I stay on mine. Because what many fail to realize is that social media and birthday doesn't validate a damn thing. Unfollow me, nigga. Unfollow me, nigga. Unfollow me from everything. Because if you gonna act like that, I truly don't wanna be fooled up with you in the first place. Yes, yeah, small things matter, but what about the overall great report of how that person treated you throughout life? But you wanna get mad over a birthday. It's 365 days in a year. Have I not shown you through all those days that I'm working? Ain't nobody gonna be there for everything. Life is short. Niggas is busy these days. It ain't my fault you don't understand. Let me break something down for you. If it wasn't for Facebook, nobody would know where your birthday is. If it wasn't for Facebook, nobody would know where your birthday is. Nobody would really even F with you like that. Even the closest people in your life will forget. But many of us get so caught up into likes and comments that they'll be willing to sacrifice good people for artificialness. What you should be concerned about is who really fucking with you in real life. That's what matters the most. The best thing you could ever do is let people sit back and do them. You didn't call me on my birthday. You ain't show up. You ain't like my birthday pictures. You ain't real, bro. <laughs> For real though, this is what life done came down to. As the wise old souls say, just keep waking up and living and one day you'll look around you and see who really there for you when you get older. I wonder how old people feel. All those years they live thinking that people are their friends. Only to find out on their deathbed that the people that you once seek validation from won't even be there to see you take your last breath. I ain't never met an old person with a lot of friends. Pretty sure they out there, very rare, good for them. You wanna know if people really fucking with you? Fall sick and then you'll have your results. I bet half them people who left Facebook, Instagram comments for birthdays and stuff won't even be there. Only the closest people in your life. But what's so funny is a lot of us overlook who's really for us because we're too busy worried about the people who ain't present. Silly. She said you'll never find another one like me. That's what she said to your boy. I hope your next girl see what I see. That's okay. Cause you was toxic. You were toxic. You were toxic. Anyway.